We've got a power supply, which is connected to a capacitor. The capacitor is then connected to a potentiometer, which is acting as a variable resistor. That is then connected to a milliamp ammeter, reading on the one amp scale. So the top of this scale here is reading um, means one milliamp, because the whole scale from zero up to there means one milliamp. So it's reading one milliamp at the moment. And then from the ammeter, it goes back to the power supply. And then also we have <coughs> this voltmeter here, which is connected in parallel across the capacitor. And I've also got a stopwatch here, which I'm going to um, stop and reset. And at the moment, the capacitor is shorted out with this wire so that the capacitor is not really part of the circuit and the current is flowing without that. And then what I need to do in a moment <coughs> is something that I really need three hands for. So what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to unshort the capacitor so that it starts charging. I'm going to also start the stopwatch and then what I have to do is adjust the variable resistor so that the current on this remains at as close to one milliamp as I can. And the reason that I have to adjust the resistance is that as the capacitor charges, there'll be less potential difference across this resistance. So I need to reduce the resistance to keep that current at the one milliamp. So I'm going to attempt to do that manoeuvre which requires a large number of hands. So I'm going to get ready to pull my shorting wire out of the, across the capacitor, start the stopwatch and then move to gradually reducing the resistance of the variable resistor so that I can uh, keep the current at one milliamp. So three, two, one, go. Okay, that's as good as we're going to get. Hopefully you got a set of results something like this. So for, for the charge added, for example, for this one, I've done my 1 milliamp times 5 seconds to give my Q equals IT, which gives me 0 0.005 coulombs. And then these are the potential differences that I got. You might not have got exactly the same, depending on how carefully you looked at the video. I'm going to show you this beautifully plotted on a graph. I think you might like to just do a sketch graph to save time.